Saturday morning. I know you wanted to have a bit of a lie in there, but <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> right, uh, we've got uh, our audience here. Uh, I'll pan the camera towards the candidate, the trainees. Uh, it's day four today, and they've all managed to perform five, and the two of them left, but all, uh, uh, they managed to perform four or five ERCPs each. Uh, so we had great. Um, and I think the performance has been pretty good. Uh, it was a good uh, steep learning curve there. And they've had a, quite a few sessions on the model as well. Uh, so they seem to be reasonably happy. Um, right. Uh, it's very uh, kind of you to join us, and it will be nice to have a few tips and tricks from you, Howard. I'll introduce the faculty to you first. Uh, we brought Harith Hassan, who's our uh, new addition to the faculty. Uh, he is uh, from Orlando, um, and he works uh, with your uh, he's working with Robert Haas, Haas and um, Peter Cotton, in fact, training in person. Oh. So, so it's a privilege to have Harith in our ranks. And uh, Saad Nath has just walked off uh, to do, I think, another procedure. Uh, he's Thank one you. of the uh, host and faculty. Uh, Shahidar, who is panning the camera, is our um, um, uh, technical advisor. He arranges all the <laughs> audio visuals for us, and he's assistant professor here in the Department of Surgery. Uh, our other faculty, Saad Nath, is the co host and the um, main director of the course, has just walked in. And just in a second. Right, over to you, Howard. Hello. Hi. Yeah. So, pr probably the easiest thing is to, is to, in fact, go over to go over to the audience. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Right. We've got uh, Howard Smart, who's the main. Well, we've basically adapted his course from Liverpool and re really translated it here in uh, Karachi. So he's the main sort of. Uh, Howard are the brain behind our uh, course here. And in fact, at one stage, Howard was uh, uh, planning to come here, but because of the political and security situation in Pakistan, uh, he sensibly decided not to on the advice of his wife. And, uh, but he's been very kind in joining us through video link. Um, right, okay, any questions for uh, uh, Dr. Smart? How many how many courses are you doing? How many such courses are you doing in a year now, uh, Howard, in the UK? And how many sent in? So the basic, basic skills course uh, runs mainly in Stoke-on-Trent. Um, in the UK, we've we've had a, a dearth of people wanting to train in ERCP, so those numbers have reduced quite markedly. But there's a basic skills the RFP course in Stoke on Trent every three to four months. And then we have uh, usually what we would call a skills upgrading course or um, train the trainer in ERCP course, which usually run twice a year. Now, I think my Colleagues in Liverpool have also been piloting a course for sort of intermediate learners as well. So probably we're looking at a formal hands-on training course about a five or six a year in the UK, which meets the needs of the trainees in the UK. Yes, yeah, there's been quite a drop in demand there, in fact. Yes, it's, it's yeah. not, um, whereas before all the trainees want to learn to do ERCP, they don't now. And in fact, the body which certifies the gastroenterologists in terms of their training in endopy, uh, which is called JAG, the Joint Advisory of Gastroenterology, have decided in their wisdom that the only training that you the gastroenterologists need is to be able to do basic and therapeutic of GI endoscopy and flexible sigmoidoscopy and then you have to specialize in training thereafter into for example colonoscopy, ERCP, endoscopy, ultrasound. So it's somewhat uh, different practice that we see in 
Europe or indeed in the States that I'm sure you've heard already where you tend to have fellowships in particular disciplines. Do you, do, you, do you have, have you started fellowships in, in uh, or um, sort of speciality training or advanced speciality training in endoscopy in UK as well? Uh, one or two year program, has that been started yet or not? Well, we do have fellows. We have a regular endoscopy fellow who trains with us. And they're training to their needs. Um, this is not the route, though, that a lot of the training want to go down. They add extra uh, years to their training. And in the UK, I think the government situation is very simple. They want a lot of people trained. They want a lot of people trained to an intermediate level. And then they would want thereafter to get mentoring and specialization in their post. Trying to increase the number of more junior type to do the work. We, in the UK, you have to remember that uh, in contrast to the States or to the to Europe, all of the gastroenterologists also do general internal medicine. So we, we as gastroenterologists, service the acute unselected intake. Because, in fact, uh, college practice is very different. Uh, you yeah. do a, uh, yeah. yeah but our uh, system is uh, in the United States uh, is different, and you probably are familiar with that. Like we have general... Yes, I've I, I spent some time at MUSC oh, with that's, uh, Peter. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, yeah. I trained with uh, Peter and uh, Rob Haas. You know Rob Haas as well, correct? Yes. And uh, so now uh, Rob and I and uh, one of his uh, previous trainee. Uh, uh, Dr. V, Verder, Julu, three of us are in Orlando. I don't know if you are aware, you are aware of that or not. After Peter, uh, Peter Carter retired, he moved uh, here to Orlando and we have our own center now. So we are working together, three of us. And uh, we, yeah. uh, the way uh, our setup is like it's a general GI fellowship and now there are 60, almost 60, I could be like uh, 60 plus uh, uh, maybe two, three programs, uh, we, which are uh, what we call advanced endoscopy training programs. And uh, those uh, 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 candidates come after uh, General GI Fellowship. It's uh, usually one year program. There are three or four programs which are for two years, like MUSC itself. If you want to get training in both uh, EUS and uh, ERCP, then it's a two-year program there, and uh, yes, yes. Uh, so that say, I uh, I did a two-year program. So, but there are only three or four programs like that, which is which are two years. So every year, almost uh, there are sixty uh, 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 endoscopists who get training in advanced endoscopy, and uh, for that matter, because there are so many programs uh, uh, now. Uh, the general GI fellows, they are not getting much training in endoscopic ultrasound or ERCP or advanced procedure, and they are mainly doing the general GI uh, most of the time. If they want to go and uh, do some advanced endoscopy, they usually have to go through advanced training. So that's the main setup. And uh, at our own center, uh, I run the fellowship program, and we have two advanced fellows. We don't have a general GI uh, fellowship, but we do have two advanced trainees every year. And we try to take one, usually outside the United States, if possible. Uh, they have to do the USMLEs and uh, pass the USMLEs, but they ne uh, don't necessarily have uh, uh, to have a training in the uh, uh, United States. So they could be a, uh, uh, a gastroenterologist from their home country. And uh, if we know uh, their mentors well, and uh, then you can consider them for a one-year advanced training. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I, I, I thought the MUSD training was a really good program when I spent some time there with Peter. And uh, it, it would be fascinating to go to Orlando and see what you could be there. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly will be warmer than the UK. <laughs> and brighter. <laughs> and brighter. <laughs> That's true. Any questions? Yes, any questions from the audience? Yes, sir. Comrade. 
thank you very much, sir. We are really thankful for uh, your uh, help in uh, enhan enhancing the skill over here in Pakistan, and we are uh, really thankful to Professor Saad Khalid Niaz and Dr. Bakar and uh, Dr. Khalid Hassan because uh, I found this course very useful and it is up to my expectations. Uh, my question was like, what is the learning curve in the Britain uh, gastroenterologists, the one who are not very expert in ERCP and then join your training program, then what is the learning curve over there? So, um, we are in the UK, so the prescriptive, uh, for example, uh, you may be in the state, but you have to remind me of the program, uh, or in Australia, where well, there are set numbers that trainees are expected to um, supervised and then um, unsupervised uh, and then hands off um, for the whole procedure. In the UK, very much a confidence base, but we also recognise it has to be an experiential base as well. Uh, and we would guess that in the region of 150, 200 procedures is when you're likely to be able to do the procedure independently with the high. Yeah, you're correct. You said 150 to 200 supervised procedures before you're allowed to do independently. Well, it, it's it's very much a confidence base. So we we tend to ignore numbers and go for confidence because um, in in the course have in the um, DOPS form, the direct observation of yes, physical skills form. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we've been using those. Uh, for feedback and yes. assessment. Yeah. So, so we uh, we get our trainees to when they do the procedure, procedure supervise and every procedure has a DOPS form completed, uh, and we reckon that most most trainees probably be able to tell after around 50 to 100 procedures if they're really going to be any ER and, and I, I value other people's opinion on that. Uh, some, some people just really aren't cut out for it, and even if they carry on struggling, struggling and struggling, they usually don't make it. Um, but if you get to 150, 200 procedures, you should have the experiential knowledge, which will need to increase with time, obviously. Um, but around that sort of time, we get you may well be able to be doing the procedures with uh, no and on supervision from your trainer. Um, in the UK, what we tend to do when we have new consultants appointed who have been um, appointed and interposed with the RCP, we give them mentorship. So often, or six to 12 months, they do the list jointly with established consultants. So there's a degree of continued uh, learning during that time. So how, how does that figure with the states? What what are you doing with your trainees in Orlando? Yeah, so uh, here uh, there is not uh, really a number. Uh, I think that what ASG or society recommends is 200 ERCPs uh, before yeah. uh, they should go out and uh, uh, even try independently. But there was yeah. a pa there was a paper from Mayo Clinic. I don't know if uh, anybody saw that to really get better or really get good at selective cannulation of the duct or more than 90% of the time being successful, 90 to 95% in getting selective cannulation, you really need, uh, it, they may not be all uh, supervised, uh, but you need 500 ERCPs before you really can, uh, are able to get to that uh, point. And uh, so uh, with regard to society recommendation, uh, it's the pretty much same as uh, you said, uh, uh, 175 to 200 uh, uh, ERCPs, and uh, uh, I think I'm not sure about how many uh, spincrotomies. I think it's at least 100 spincrotomies, and uh, 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 so that uh, that's pretty much, uh, I guess, uh, every uh, in uh, uh, both sides of the Atlantic. Uh, I think it's pretty much the same. But yeah. I think as yeah, you said. Same. As you said, in Australia, I think there is a set number they have uh, 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 put up 
uh, before you can really I think go. it's three, I think 300 in Australia. It's 300. And there is a, also a set number of spin protonies. I don't know if it's 100 or 150. 100 usually. 100, 100 yeah. 100. Uh, that's what they have uh, suggested. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yes. So, yeah, it's, uh, I, I'd, I'd be interested to know how you are um, dealing with your patient, the course, in terms of sedation. Well, sedation, we have the luxury of uh, propofol anesthesia because you've got the anesthetist in attendance at all times. Uh, yesterday, there was a bit of a delay with the anesthetist, so I did one with conscious sedation. Uh, but otherwise, it's great because the patient is totally knocked out. In our normal practice, we don't. Um, uh, we in, in At least in our unit, uh, where we're having the course, we um, the pancreatic... Um, um, treatment or pancreatic ERCPs are all done, done under propofol and the repeats or referred failures we do them under propofol preferably um, yeah. but but most of our cases are done um, we try and do them under conscious sedation um, but we have the luxury of having um, an anesthetist with us at least for two of our lists um, and so all the difficult ones we end up doing um, under propofol. And in fact, uh, Saad, how much uh, numbers do you go through a year? Because it's a very high volume practice. We do have. anyway between 900 to 1000 ERCPs in this unit and our group is involved in about 1700 ERCPs a year. Yeah, that's, that, those are amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think in, 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 in the whole of Liverpool we probably only do about um, 1200 ERCPs. That between yourselves and Aintree? That, that's including the Royal Liverpool and Aintree, yes. Yes, yeah. See, yeah. Our numbers should be in a, a huge, uh, Howard, because we are catering for the city that, I, that we are living in has about 20 million um, Oh, right, people. yeah. Okay, and we cater for almost 45 million people. Uh, so actually, we are doing only maybe 5 or 7% of the total volume that should be done here. It's awareness, it's yeah. logistic, availability, etc., etc. But I think in Karachi alone, if I put the figures that you have about 300 ERCPs to 400 in every DGH, which is doing ERCP covering about 400,000 population, yeah. I calculated we should be doing 20,000 ERCPs plus in Karachi alone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but, but right now, I think we, our group is involved in about 1,700 plus minus, and there are probably another 1,300 that are done by the rest. Approximately, that's my yeah. guess. So about three, uh, three and a half thousand. That, that's really an excellent um, population to under which to take training as well. Uh, and what what we certainly found out when we started doing the ERC basic skills courses that often the the rate limit kept trainee to progress was the fact that we were using conscious and the patient was poorly tolerant. Uh, and it, uh, it's really good that you propofol online and you can actually do the procedure and that really aids training. Yeah, I, I think it's excellent for the candidates because then we are not, uh, we are not, uh, you know, like pushed because of the patient's intolerance which is not uncommon and if you're not experienced then it becomes much more difficult. Uh, for the experienced uh, endoscopist, it, you can handle that. Uh, for the trainees, I think it becomes much more That's and true. we are also relaxed because at least we are not so worried about the patient, uh, somebody else is looking after the patient. Uh, patients yes. oxygen, uh, ECG, pulse and everything else is being monitored by somebody else. Yes, so you focus on the bile duct ampulla and that's it. And, and so it's good. Uh, 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 and that's the whole idea of training, I think, yes. That's <laughs> yes. How, how many cases are you, we, uh, you know, you, you take four candidates, if I'm not wrong, uh, in your courses? Yeah. Or? Um, but let's, let's just think of the, the, fo the format of the course um, that you're running there. Um, what, what, what I, when I started off this, and interestingly, uh, Peter did come over to Liverpool and speak of the course for me, which was very kind of him. Um, uh, and I, I'm eternally grateful for him coming to do that. Um, but um, we, we, we started off on the premise that Jack courses in the UK were set up first of all on the grounds that you did um, background um, teaching. We talked about the theory, 
you then did uh, sessions on model, and then you did live. Now that that was quite acceptable for upper GI endoscopy and colonoscopy. Um, we developed basic skills course for ERCP, and I must admit it caused a lot of a lot of concern in the endoscopy training ranks that we are exposing patients to perhaps unnecessary risk by doing the hands-on section. Um, but it didn't prove to be the case because we did present our figures at one of our national meetings to show that if you attend the course or if you didn't attend the course, your cannulation rate, your outcomes were absolutely identical because basically you had expert endoscopists who were there doing the training. Um, so the, the format we chose was um, basically a four-day format where we had four, four delegates and we had um, half to three quarters of the first day on background. We had then the rest of that day and the second day on model work and then we had two days for case. And the way we were set up um, meant that we'd do either six to eight cases each day. So we did, for the candidates, um, four NRCP each over that time. Which, bear in mind, um, in, in our unit, it would be possible to do more than four cases in one second, morning or an afternoon. So that was what we would run. In between cases, we'd have micro on topics, and we'd often get the delegates to present a little micro session for five minutes. Um, for example, on management of uh, or prevention of pancreatitis, uh, dealing with difficult stuff. And you've probably done there as well. Yeah. In fact, we say follow the same format and program. The only yeah. problem this time was that our model, you we were having a bit of problem with the model. So we took off with the live cases on day two. And in fact, on the yeah. day one also, we did a couple of them with the more experienced candidates. So it was staggered yeah, over what, yeah, yeah. three to four what, days. What you've got to do is, is remember that I was taking people who had done the, the remit and how to get on the course was that you'd done basically no ERCP, yeah. um, or you'd observed a few cases, probably had hands-on in only two or three, yeah. but, and you also had to be confident in upper GI therapeutic yeah. endoscopy. So sure. it was quite a strict um, introduction, um, because previous to that, the, the course in Stoke that was running, it was an all-comers course, had a mixture of people who had done no ERCP, the, the people who were very experienced, and yeah. that that was a little bit difficult to deal with. So I was going really for the mark, the same as we would for basic endoscopy, where you take someone who's done no none of those and then take them through the whole. Sure. See, the thing is, we we did our this is our third course, so we realized after the first course that it was you know you need to have exactly the same group or similar group because that makes it easier for for us to, um, to, to get the right pitch. Um, yeah. And so we realized that it would be better for people who have already had some experience to come here because then it becomes easier for us. So that's number one. Uh, we yes. have five candidates. What we've added here, the rest of the program is exactly like the way you said. We have a, we have a dummy which, uh, which we give practice on. And uh, we, do, we give five ERCPs to each candidate. We take five instead of four. And, uh, yeah. And uh, uh, along with that, we do the micro teaching, like you said. Um, we've covered up most of the topics, and then we also put in some lectures in between, some videos to make sure that we've shown everything on all aspects. Um, and uh, eh? primarily, we follow exactly what. In fact, we follow your um, your syllabus. program. Is that <laughs> yes. your syllabus? Um, you just added a little bit of uh, a few things, and we've we've added another thing. We've added is because we had a lot of demand, and we are the only center that's doing it. This kind of a course, um, probably outside UK, uh, Bakar has done a, a search on it and this is, uh, you know, outside UK we are the only center that does this kind of a course. So we have demand and so we've added observers 
And observers are people who just come and sit and observe the whole thing. They listen to all the talks and everything yes. else, but they don't actually get a chance to do hands-on. Um, people enjoy um, those who are doing it. They come and they get a, they get to see about 25 odd ERCPs with uh, different faculty being, you know, juniors being trained. So observers is something that we've added on. The rest uh, is pretty similar to what you do there. And they get preference for the next hands-on. Yeah, and the thing is that when you've done an observer with us, the next course, uh, if you apply for that, you get preference over others. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's a good, that's a good uh, way to deal with things. Yeah, I, I, I think now, if you've got the numbers coming through your unit, it's really good to back the, the number of... Um, Procedure delegates get so that's fantastic to get five procedures done with expert faculty. Yeah. Uh, and um, yeah. when you have the the the, the mix, how, how do you work that? Do you let most experience do the third aces and let the less experienced ones watch from the room? Yes, sir. Yeah. We normally yes, we've got an audiovisual sort of recording and it's tra transmitted live to the yeah, for the other candidates. Yeah, we have a two-way connection and it's like a workshop, any any international workshop. So all our cases are transmitted. Everybody else, the other two faculty are sitting here and we are we are discussing and explaining what's happening and what yeah. what is being done, while the individuals yeah. are actually working in the room and and so we get uh, get to see all cases. Yeah. So so you sit there, same as we would do and say. What would you do next? Yes, yeah. I mean, yeah. that the discussion keeps going on, and most of the time we don't agree yeah. on everything. See, see one, of the, <laughs> one of the interesting things this time is that we have a, um, we have a very um, a mixed um, uh, sort of intercontinental faculty. Uh, Vakar has traveled from UK, um, Khaled has traveled from Florida, um, and, and I'm here. Um, I was trained in the UK, Vakar represents the UK system, but we also have American input from someone who's in a, in, is working in one of the top centers there. So this is this, this time, this third course, we have, this is something that's different. We have, we have the American touch as well, uh, which we've missed in the first two courses. So it really has been very interesting and, uh, and, and um, exciting for us. Yeah. So how, 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 how do you feel this would um, go down in the States? I, I have a feeling this wouldn't be something that you would do in the States. Oh, no, I don't think it would happen there. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what Peter said to me. <laughs> no, yeah. So, if, uh, but hands-on, it's a really, really strict. You can't do that, and uh, they have to get a license. And for license, you have to pass all the USMLEs and uh, be uh, ECFMG certified. So it's a very, very long process, and there is no one-week, two-week training. So you have to commit, yeah. uh, commit to pretty long uh, for long. Uh, long time. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the, the, the idea of the, the basic course where it was designed was very much like all the basic skills courses. You did the course, you weren't trained, but a certificate say, that you attended the course, part of the, in, uh, part of the, the remit going into the course is that you would then have a nominated trainer to train you in ERC or train, train you in endoscopy. Because what we didn't want to do when there was um, a lot of training courses running was to track people in who really want to come, do the course, and then think they could go off and do the procedure. Uh, and we had to make that very clear to people. No, that's, that's something we've looked into as well. So all the candidates who come here, uh, the, criterions that, that we, the criterions that we use include um, having training facility to go back to, um, they almost all have somebody who would be uh, supervising them and so we, we, we take care of that otherwise we would not. If you're just a lone uh, ranger then um, I don't think uh, we would be actually taking you on because there is no point. Uh, four days you can only make concepts, you can give you basic uh, things and, and uh, information, lots of information is given but that does not mean that you can go on and do uh, even dream of doing it on your own. We hope that yeah. people... Yeah. But, but our system is not so regulated, so we have to be a little bit more careful. Um, um, and, and we've tried our best to, to look, in, look into all those matters too. But I think it has helped. The, the feedback so far has been good from people who've attended before. Um, 
they've gone on and in their unit um, managed to continue and has helped their uh, teachers as well. I've had, a fee I've had feedbacks from, from the supervisors or the trainers uh, of those who've come attend and attended courses here. They've given us positive feedback that the candidates, when they went back, uh, it was good for the trainers as well because uh, they had con their concepts were better. Yeah, I think that it, that there's a lot of two-way education going on, isn't there? But I think the, the people who come and do faculty have a lot to offer as well, not only to the trainees but to each other. <coughs> Yes, um, in fact, uh, there have been especially particularly two, three candidates that we followed up for the last two years and uh, in one of them is from my hometown in Peshawar, which is about a thousand miles away from Karachi and in fact, I am told that he's doing very well and I think one year after the course, I saw him perform ERCP and I was really impressed with the way he had progressed. So it is uh, in general quite a rewarding process for us and the fact that there are not many formal, uh, there's no formal training in ERCP uh, and the ones who are performing them on a regular basis at the consultant level are very reluctant to part with their skills. So it becomes a bit of a, uh, it's difficult for the new generation to um, learn. So I think it's something which is a groundbreaking stuff for us and extremely rewarding. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm so pleased it's working so well and I'm yeah. I'm so pleased it's your third course. It's really good. Well, no, that's good. Right. Thank you very much, Howard, for your time. Thank and you have a lovely weekend. Thank you very much for taking time out. Thank you for supporting us. And we look forward to having this support uh, in the future, too. And whenever things yeah. are better, it would be lovely to have you here and actually oh, see for you. yourself what we do. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you very thank much. You. Take thank care. Thank you from thank all you. of us. Thank okay. you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Sphincterotomy alone should it be enough in this patient? Okay, tell the tell the details. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Good morning, Khalid. Morning. Morning is चल रही है यहाँ पे. Good morning, sir. आपके time से morning हो गई है. हाँ, हमारे time से morning हो गई है. Okay, we have a different and interesting case. So you will just be told about it. Uh, so uh, he is a 24 year, uh, 24 year old male patient, uh, operated uh, 10 years, uh, 10 days back with expertly laparotomy. Uh, uh, they found a widespread hydrated cyst in the liver, omentum, and uh, uh, hepatic uh, system, hepatobiliary system. Uh, CT scan showed uh, cyst in right lobe of liver, 14 by 11.8 centimeter, and uh, biliary drainage of more than 20 ml per day in the drain. Cyst is here. Right, right, right hepatectomy. Tell me. Tell me. Okay, uh, just a couple of more things. He's already been operated upon. There was a large cyst in the right system, which has been repo removed. So I don't know how much of the right lobe has been removed or how much of the right uh, part of the liver has been removed. Uh, he continues to have um, leakage. So we're going to see where he's leaking from and, and take it from there. It's a, in a, it's a case of bile leak. Yeah, it's a case of biliary leakage. After the surgery. Follow, yeah, known hydrated cyst following um, surgical resection. Um, he continues to have leakage and we need to find out where he's leaking from. Uh, and then um, and then do the need fill if we can okay okay Come back, come back, come back, come back. 
Is there out from back? Okay. Go back again. Big wheel up. नहीं नहीं सही है सिर्फ ज़रूरत नहीं है नो नो नॉट एट ऑल यू जस्ट आई सॉ आई थॉट यू गॉट इट पोजीशन एक सेकंड मुझे दिखाइए फिर मैं आपको वापस दे ये है ना सही है जाने दो गुड डाउन थोड़ा दैट्स इट गो फिर मैं मैंने पहले भी देखा था कि आप आगे एक्सेलेंट वेरी गुड राइट आई थिंक यू कैन Do the maneuver and gently pull back, big wheel away. Clockwise rotation. Excellent. Pull back gently. Thoda thoda pull back karte hain. Big wheel ko door karein aur pull back karein. करते हैं बिग बिल को दूर करें थोड़ा एम्पुलर ना हो इस राइट व्हील हाँ ये है ना एम्पुलर सामने में राइट व्हील को आप अभी कुछ नहीं करें सिर्फ राइट को क्लॉक करें आगे की तरफ करें ठीक है वैसे ही काफ़ी हद तक आ गया थोड़ा सा क्लॉक वाइज रिपेट करें और फुल करें बस नहीं बस क्यों अब इसको पीछे करें तो यहाँ से थोड़ा सा रिपेट करें तो फिर पीछे करें थोड़ा सा फिर रिपेट करें फिर पीछे करें Now, just use the right hand, and, and it's, it's just here, just behind that. So the pull back and stop. Gently, थोड़ा थोड़ा slow movement. और पीछे करें और big wheel से दूर करेंगे और अपने आप को करीब लाएंगे ये रहना है तो लोग. हाँ सही है. Until it's just there. Uh, good, 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 good. There it is. There it comes. ठीक है. Fine. आप थोड़ा pull back करने में डरते हैं ना? You need to take that off. You fear निकाल दो यार वापस आ जाओगे तो चले जाना। अब थोड़ा सा अपनी position को ठीक करो ताकि आप good थोड़ा सा आगे पीछे होके देखो क्या होता है ताकि आपको पता रहे आप क्या करेंगे। Big wheel को थोड़ा पीछे करो और अभी थोड़ा सा और ये पीछे आ सकता है। Yes, perfect. Good. See? It's all about As our colleague from uh, Mansfield says, are you happy? हाँ जी मेरे साथ है. Are you happy? CBD, right? ये नहीं है. देखो पहली चीज़ तो ये नहीं. It's that spot there. Just the bus. हाँ लेकिन तुमने aim तो ऐसे नहीं कर सकते. तुमने aim straight करके इधर जाना. इस जगह. एक तो opening है नीचे है ना. ये तो bank है. Almost certainly. इसके ऊपर इधर ये CBD. यहाँ से आपने अभी आपने से इस डायरेक्शन 
अब आप ये देखो कि आप सी के डायरेक्शन में करने के लिए क्या करते हो तो या तो अपनी पोजिशन नहीं लेना ठीक है गुड परफेक्ट ठीक है लीव इट देर लीव इट देर एम फॉर दी एपेक्स एंड यू शुड बी एम जब आप नीचे भी देखते हो तो आपकी जगह नहीं हिले दैट्स द थिंग ये हाथ अब स्टिल फ्रीज ठीक है ना वो वाला जो भी करना है अपनी जगह आप नहीं छोड़नी है लोग अपने करीब कैसे लाओगे लेकिन ऊपर जाना है मैं नीचे नहीं जाना इसके डायरेक्शन नीचे की तरफ है ओ, थोड़ी सी एक पीप आई है दैट्स व्हाट आई वांट। जगह एम फिल को हिलाने की जरूरत नहीं आपको उस वक्त आप हिलाएं जब आप अपने आप को इंगेज कर लें तो आपकी पोजीशन बहुत अच्छी है थोड़ा सा उठा के फुल बैक फुल बैक फुल बैक थोड़ा सा और ना थोड़ा सा और एंड दोबारा अपनी पोजिशन ठीक करें थोड़ा सा एम्पल अब फुल उसमें नहीं आ रहा ना थोड़ा सा वापस अपनी पोजिशन को ठीक करो पूरा नज़र तो आए तब आप फोक करोगे अपनी इसको इसको अंदर कर लो कहने लगो थोड़ा सा अंदर कर लो री पोजिशन योर एम्पल Are you advancing the scope or are you pulling back? I'm pulling back. Okay. Seem to have lost again. No? Hmm. Right, 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 right. Right wing. Right lock. You know left. So the lock. Yes. Is it over? Just one small movement to your back. Now you need to go back in, little sir, and then. You can't have a better. It's pretty good for me, but I'll throw our center. Me, Carlo. That's good. Good position, but you're moving. It's not stable. So, as a breathing, be patient. Kya, but it doesn't matter. Abhi aap isme agar candidate karne bhi jaoge to nahi ho sakta. To fayda nahi. So you need to wait, spend a few minutes on positioning yourself. Big wheel lock. Hai? लॉक नहीं रखो अभी जब पोजीशन कर लो तो लॉक करो अभी अगर लॉक कर लोगे तो फिर कैसे काम चले यू नीड टू पुश इट अवे यू डोंट नीड टू यू डोंट नीड टू बी आर सी वॉट दिस डस क्लॉक वाइज एंटी क्लॉक वाइज गॉन क्लॉक वाइज बैक इन क्लॉक वाइज के साथ आई जस्ट फुल बैक बैक इन पोजिशन You can actually do a little bit more center, but if you, you know, big wheel back. I think you can go and give it a go here. Sir, man, I mean, it's okay for me. As long as I'm seeing the whole ampule, I'm okay. You have to see. But we can always bring it in the center. There's no reason why we can't. Chalo, good. Let's let's start from you. But now, you should not hesitate. You should go to the place where you should go. So, as an elevator bridge, say, "Okay, good." ऊपर उठाए एलिवेटर से थोड़ा प्यार से नहीं इंगेज नहीं होगा थोड़ा फुल बैक करें फायदा नहीं है ये इज नॉट गोन हेल्प अस एट ऑल आई कैन पोजीशन इट बेटर फॉर यू वाई आर यू नॉट एबल टू पोजीशन
ओके राइट इन द सेंटर ठीक है नाउ यू कीप इट हेयर ऑल आई डिड वाज़ द लिटिल बिट ऑफ राइट लेफ्ट एंड क्रॉक एंड पुल बैक इन दैट सेंटर सो दैट दैट इज एक्जैक्टली व्हाट आई वाज टेलिंग यू नाउ दिस इज राइट इन राइट इन द मिडल इज नथिंग नो शुड हैव एनी डिफिकल्टी यू करोगे तो चला जाएगा यू करोगे तो यहाँ आ जाएगा ठीक है तो यू जस्ट नीड टू कीप इट देर गुड पोजिशन एक्स यू नो and if you want to align yourself you have actually align with the cbd right lift some lock kar ke nahi lock kar do ab ab koi problem nahi lock karne mein now you can lock even the big wheel if you want to i don't lock my wheels but that's okay you know some people do some people don't i don't have a problem but ek dafa position karne ke baad lekin ab hilni nahi chahiye now you've got very good position na isko bandar jana chahiye na bahar jana chahiye na aapko saans leni chahiye ha isko wire tip do thoda sa Let's try the wire tip method, okay? उसको करीब ना लाए ना वायर टिप करना है तो उसको दूर रखें ना फिर भी क्या वाय यू पुट अभी नहीं यू डोंट फोक एट दी एम्पुलर अंटिल एंड एनलेस यू आर एब्सोल्युटली श्योर वॉट यू गोन डू ठीक थोड़ा सा और निकालो ग्रेट थोड़ा सा वेट करें ये गुड एक्सेलेंट 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 नाउ जस्ट बी जेंटल या एंड वी जस्ट रोटेट दिस नाउ वी आर इन नो वी जस्ट वी जस्ट डिस एंगेज ट्राई अगेन थोड़ा सा बाहर दो ना यार तुम भी बाहर पूरी तरह से दे नहीं रहे वसीम को खाना नहीं खिलाया गुड 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 एक्सेलेंट नाउ गो इन गो इन गो इन थोड़ा सा अब इस जस्ट अ लिटिल टर्न एंड अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ बिग वील बैक हाँ बाई ट्राई कर नो नो दैट्स नॉट राइट सो वी कम बैक आउट अ लिटिल बिट थोड़ा सा पुल बैक करेंगे पुल बैक करेंगे स्ट्रेट करेंगे अपने आप को दोबारा थोड़ा सा और टर्न करेंगे नहीं आप हिल गए ना वहाँ से यू गॉट डिस इंगेज फ्रॉम पुल बैक करना हाँ नो नो आई डोंट थिंक आई थिंक यू अब वो नीचे अब ना छोटे व्हील को घुमाए ना हर चीज ऑल यू नीडेड टू डू अस दिस दिस इज व्हाट यू डिड यू योर बैक इन एक्ट फिर आपने हिला दिया ओके ओके एक्सेलेंट गो ना यार अब तो होना चाहिए इज्जत का सवाल है ये हमारा थोड़ा सा उसके ऊपर तो लगाओ ना ब्रिज से एलिवेटर से थोड़ा सा उठाओ उसको Going on the side, not good. Pull back a little. Pull back a little. Wash the screen. So I can't see anything. Try again. थोड़ा सा बाहर बस इतना ही रखना करना. थोड़ा सा बाहर बस. That's it. Good enough. Actually, as you can see, the patient's breathing is actually making it difficult for. अब इसमें क्या होता है कि आप अपने आप को कभी उस जगह पे रखते हैं जहाँ एम्पिला को चाहिए ना वहाँ पे फिक्स करके छोड़ दो तो वो खुद ही अंदर चला जाएगा. साथ. Yeah. Ironically, these procedures have to be done on a live patient who are breathing, coughing, may even you know retch. Yeah, and they are, and they are, and most of them have conscious sedation. That's true, especially in our practice. Yep. Yeah. Agreed. So Good. we have to hit a moving target. Good. अब इसमें कहीं पे aim करें लेकिन इस तरह करें लेकिन आप side में जा रहे हैं ना वैसा क्या करना है जिसकी वजह से ये यहाँ है ये सर थोड़ा सा ये कोई मसला नहीं आपको कुछ उधर से कुछ नहीं हिलाना ये सब इधर आ जाएगा ये लो उधर से तो हिलाने की जरूरत ही नहीं ठीक है 
अब ना गो बैक अगेन उसको फॉल बैक कर रही थी तो अब उनका फॉल बैक करता है We have an absolutely excellent position and we good, good, good. Bring it in the center. I'll show you how we do that. Just a little bit of torque and clockwise torque and you're back in the center, right in the center. Okay, your position is good now. Should be able to go in now, yeah. Just have to aim. See, you lose your rotation. You don't realize this. You don't. You now you can't move this shoulder. If you move it, it'll go away. You see that? So you need to keep it like this. Yeah, good. I think the movement is actually not helping. Pull back a little bit. Yeah, good, 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 good. अब आप क्या करेंगे? नहीं नहीं, बिग बिल पहले आप नहीं करेंगे। बिग बिल पहले आप करेंगे तो तो बाहर आ जाएगा। Let me let me just do this for you one channel ही। Okay good। चलो। But don't no no not getting me। हाँ। Yeah good। अब इसको यहाँ engage किया है ना? थोड़ा सा पुल बैक पुश ना करें पुश ज़्यादा ना करें डोंट डोंट एडवांस ज़्यादा पुश नहीं किया नो नो लेट मी लेट मी हैव अ लुक Thank you. Could be stuck there. So we we'll just pull back a little bit. Try wire again. No, pull back. So See, as soon as I injected and I saw I was in pancreas, I don't want pancreas dust, so I yeah. wanted to come out immediately. Yeah, that's right. We I don't. There's no that. point staying in the pancreatic duct after injecting, so that way, no, hopefully, no. you reduce the. Best. I think you know the problem here is that it must be a completely collapsed CBD, so that's yeah. why we probably will have a little difficulty. Wire, thoda se dena mujhe. Wire. Okay, but that's it. Patients with the bile leak, sometimes they are not that easy of a cannulation just for the same reason that the bile is not flowing through the bile duct quite a bit and uh, it's uh, just a minimal flow and that can uh, give her trouble what? sometimes. But I think you are in the right place, looks like right now. Uh, hmm? Hmm? Yes. No. No, no. Uh, that's in the wrong place. Yeah, that's a, yeah it's coming out. It went outside. Outside. Wash, please. So this is the, it went into the Wash, wall, please. wall. So it, but it's still in the mucosa. So it didn't go anywhere else. 
it uh, like uh, we know that um, a wall, uh, any GI wall has four layers, right? It goes up, deep, deep okay. goes up, and then the prop here, and then the stomach goes up. Muscularis propria, cirrhosa is not a part of the wall, that's the pit, that's outside the wall. Uh, so this, uh, when, uh, this wire usually, if it happens like that, it comes up like that, probably the maximum space no, pull back in the wire the wall, you didn't go beyond that. Muscularis propria is something that's hard to uh, pierce that okay. uh, with the wire. Why? You Bo. have to be careful, that's where you Bo. get the subnicosal injection. Bo. So the way, tell Major, Major, don't push, don't advance, relax. No, we will. Do we wire again, Tip? Tip, what is your? That's it. Inject, 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 inject. Okay, inject. 
ครับครับ I can't see any uh... And Not I think uh, we need to wait a little bit and uh, uh, see if it goes anywhere. That contract. That's what I'm going to wait for. Yeah. Because there is just one one area which is looking a little. Uh, Sath, in situations like these, I'm usually guided by the drainage through the drains, because number one, it is unwise to inject under pressure to identify the source of the or the site of the leakage. And if there is a clinical leakage there, the best thing is to. Uh, even if you don't do a sphincterotomy, just put a stent in and I'm come out. Steve, Akar, I can't hear you. Uh, it, in a situation like this, Saad, uh, the best approach is that it's better not to inject under too much pressure to identify the site of the leak. Uh, Why is that? Well, I mean, you are introducing infection into the peritoneum. Uh, there is already a drain there and there is a leakage well, yes, already. So this is a patient who is yeah. who's actually draining regularly. Mm. And that's why he's been referred. Secondly, the more dense your contrast becomes, the more difficult it becomes to identify the site of leakage. Because if you've got a big blob there, and mm. it can be anywhere, so if it shows up, fine. If it doesn't, then, you know. So it's telling us that it's not going anywhere in this system, so I'm just yeah. going to do a sphincterotomy. This is a, yeah. this is a, this is, this leakage should settle with just a sphincterotomy. Uh, it should, because normally there's okay. a pressure differential of about 15 centimeters of walk, uh, water across the sphincter. So even the sphincterotomy would suffice, uh, but if there is a, a continuous drainage on the drain, then you know a sphincterotomy or a stent or both would do. I normally just put a stent in. I, I personally, I think you know the, there is no leakage with the except that there is a blob there, um, which may or may not be the area, but it's a closed area. It's not going into the way that you can see the drain clearly. clearly. So if you do a sphincterotomy, I, in my op my personal experience and opinion, I think that's all you need. Right. I uh, definitely would uh, go with the sphincterotomy and uh, I might have considered putting a stent as well. Sorry Khalid, uh, your voice is cutting off. I said I definitely will go with the sphincterotomy, do the sphincterotomy. I personally might have put a stent uh, there as well. I mean, I would do a sphincterotomy and see what happens to the drainage. Okay. And uh, where are you going to put the stent and what is it going to do? We, we can discuss that when we are done. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Hello. Big wheel ko advance kare. That's it. Ab andar jale. Please don't, don't, don't come out here. Okay. Right now cut. Yeah. इस फोल्ड के ऊपर जाके एंड एंड नाउ यू रीपोजिशन योर सेल्फ थोड़ी सी आपकी पोजिशन मिल गई है कैन मेक अ पोजिशन बेटर एंड आई एम ओके विद दिस इज वेल आई डोंट थिंक दिस अ प्रॉब्लम लेकिन थोड़ा सा पुल बैक करें यू टू मच इन वायर द वायर बहुत अंदर है ओके इट्स फाइन थोड़ा और निकालें एंड दैट शुड बी अब दोबारा डालें दैट्स वोट आई डू गो बैक नाउ कट बस and then just re-value it, right, we need to cut this fold, okay? Cut for what, sir? This is a good uh, position. Yeah, go on, cut this, very good. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it, I'll stop there. Okay, perfect, we've got good drainage there. I think we don't, we, we're not doing it for stone extraction, so that's big enough. <coughs> Now, get your position right. Your ampulla is going away. Right, left, right, left, right, 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 right. Small wheel. Yep, that's all you need to do. Pull back. That's it. And now, get this. Uh, let's see what's happening here. Okay. I want to. I want to wire it. Na, thoda sa aur agar leke jana padega. Isko kahan jata hai? Wire kisi system mein bahar ja raha. This wire is actually not there. Okay. Let me just take eight minutes. Wire pull back. It's a totally collapsed. Uh, you see. Now, if you understand, where this block you see uh, is actually uh, what the surgical guys did. This is a post-surgical uh, liver. Just uh, this is not. 
the whole duct is drained. If you put a stent here, uh, in my opinion, it's not going to help a lot. We're not seeing a stricture here. This is most likely. Uh, so we'll just put the wire and see if we can get into one of the direct ducts. Uh, the left system is what we want. So we'll we'll try and see if we can put the. Then maybe yes, you know. At the moment, the way the wire is, I am not too comfortable. Dalo. Dalo wire. No, that's going out. You can see that's that's where the the problem is. Why I back. We want to go into the left system. The right has been operated upon, and that's why I am not too sure. May you calm, sir? Come, Jalo. 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 I'm not sure if it's going there. I'm going to do that and follow this wire up. Let me go up. Let me go up. Put the wire in. Advance the wire in. Wire advance. See what's happening. Wire loop ban ke dusri tar jara because this is a big blob here. I don't know what this is. एक बार अटेम्प्ट करेंगे विद अ डिफरेंट वायर। वी वांट टू सी इफ वी कैन गेट इनटू द लेफ्ट सिस्टम। वी कैन देन फाइन इफ वी कैन गेट इनटू द लेफ्ट सिस्टम। आई वांट डू एनीथिंग मोर। नहीं वी जस्ट गो द स्टैंडर्ड वायर बट आई वांट टू जस्ट ट्राई एंड सी इफ वी कैन गेट द लेफ्ट सिस्टम। देर इज बाइल ब्रेन देर। द डक्ट इज कंप्लीटली क्लेयर। दैट ब्लॉब इज नॉट गोइंग टू क्लेयर नो मैटर वेदर यू पुट अ स्टैंड इन माय ओपिनियन ऑन दैट। so spinctrotomy is the best. Spinctrotomy is, yeah, you know, I think this, that's the best you can do here. The ductal system is completely clear. Vakar, can you guys see the X-ray? Hello. No, that's not a different system. See, that's going in. Can you see the PD coming out here? What is it? Can you see the PD here? It's not here. It's here. The PD. That's why we were getting into the PD despite of the position that we had. You showed that picture the other day. Yes. We just went into the PD. This is the PD. Okay. Oh, okay. CBD is up there. So let's see. Okay. Dalo. Go on. This is not going. This is going into the PD. Very interesting. Hello, what? Hello. बो करो। एक अभी नहीं, जब मैं कहूँगा। नो, पुल बैक वाय। बो करो। वाय इन, वाय इन, नो, स्टिल टिप इज़ आउट।
Yeah. Yeah. Hello. 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 There's no point. I personally don't think we need to do anything more. Just come out and like to discuss this. I don't think there's any point. Uh, There's no left system feeling, right? I think you can't do anything more than doing a skin shot. Mm -hmm. That's what Where would you put the stent into that? The cavity is in your vagina. You know better than I do. I mean, Current case. To see a ductal leakage, then its life becomes easy. Not easy. Uh, she is a 40 year old female uh, came to us with complaint of right upper quadrant pain, uh, pain plus nausea and vomiting. Uh, ultrasound done which shows cholelithiasis plus cholelithiasis uh, and uh, her bilirubin is 4.19 and clotting profile is all normal. Good, thank you. Uh, it was not mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. Was the bile duct dilated you said? CBD size. Thick. Doctor, I'm sorry, check up, a checklist of what he needs. I was not, I will fail you on that. Not he can, he got to coffee a bit of it. Okay, or suction be on the cardia or cackering up or cackering it. Hot he or cackering it. You are not getting it. Yeah, it's pre cutting a lens cube, but okay, who clear hot acne. Cassie cutting a spray. Me, Cassie. Huh, up now complete, right? Okay. और लाइट चेक करें लाइट कैसे चेक करेंगे वो सीन ने आपके सामने करके दिखाया था अपने ग्लव्स के ऊपर यू कैन डू इट ठीक है दैट्स इट नाउ क्योंकि इफ यू डोंट डू दिस ऑन अकॉर्डिंग टू आवर स्टैंडर्ड यू शुड फेल और ये याद रखें कि आपके डिपार्टमेंट में वसीम और एरिक नहीं होंगे और नाक्रम होगा <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, tell me. That's good, well done. Right, okay. Up, Catherine, yeah. If you push it like this, naturally it will go, if it's a natural curve, it will take you to the fundus, which normally happens with a lot of trainees. Now you are in the right direction, okay? So guess, you have a gastric root guy, you see them just fall. And you will be to your right and down, okay? Yes, you will be to your right and down, okay? Now you will be to the pylorus, okay? It's below, it's in the 6 o'clock position, okay? Up push uh, advance correct scope and it should look. Vakar, I saw the papilla.
Uh, oh yes, yeah. <laughs> we've done it. <laughs> and we we will now report the first first uh, side we are going into the CBD. But do agar ke new metros se na dekhe. And C C B D looks like, you know, I'm surprised. Oh, I never thought C B D was like duodenum. Ah. Do agar ke new metros se na dekho. हाँ ठीक है बेटा दैट्स गुड सो अब उसको हाँ एक स्क्रीन पर कर लेना बार एक विच एवर यू आर कंफर्टेबल विद अब स्कोप को थोड़ा सा वापस खेचे इट इज अबव दैट फोल्ड ठीक है हाँ वी ड्रॉ करें ऐसा ऐसा अब ये बड़ा व्यू को एडजस्ट करें ताकि उसे नजर आएगा आपको मतलब जो भी करते फ्रंट बैक का ही होता है मुश्किल होता है तो अप या डाउन ना अप का मतलब है कि स्कोप टिप ऑफ शुड भी आप वीर को अब जब नीचे ट्रेन करेंगे इट्स हम एर ओवर देयर ठीक है ऊपर की तरफ है हाँ ये देखें हम नजर आ रहे हैं ठीक है इसको जनरली ऐसे ऊपर नीचे करना अच्छा नहीं होता जो आपके साथ खड़ा होता है ना वो इरीटेट होता है हाँ ठीक है ना तो ऐसे काम करें जिससे मैं इरीटेट ना हूँ वसीम इरीटेट ना हो एर इरीटेट ना हो अब अब ठीक है अब यहाँ पर थोड़ा सा लेफ्ट डायल कर लें मतलब इसको लॉक जरूरी नहीं है कि आप खोलें लेकिन हाँ ठीक है हाँ ठीक है हाँ वो इसको फिर लॉक कर ले ठीक है लॉक कर दिया ऐसा ठीक है ठीक है दैट्स अ गुड वो अब इसको मतलब आप आराम से देखें पेपला को ठीक है अब ऊपर और फिर नजर आ रहा है ट्राई टू गो फॉर दैट जेंटली हाँ जी और वसीम का चक्कर है कि जब तक ये खुश ना हो ना कि पोजीशन आपकी ठीक है ये वायर भी आगे नहीं करता <laughs> आपका दिल पुटा देगा लेकिन वायर नहीं आगे करेगा <laughs> अभी ठीक बात है ना कसम से अगर इसने दोरा भी आगे किया हुआ है तो हाँ वो ही ना नहीं नहीं माशाल्लाह इनके स्किल लेवल जो है ना अनबिलीवेबल या हाँ ठीक है दैट्स वेरी गुड अप्रोच एक्सेलेंट अब इसको थोड़ा सा लिफ्ट करें और इसका उद्याह तो मेरे ख्याल में स्विंग ड्रॉट में पहले भी आके That okay. was a really difficult cannulation. Very difficult. But he, up, 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 to. Ah, 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 Inject contrast भी inject करेंगे। अब चूंकि इसका already वो filtrate भी नीचे stone है, लेकिन पता नहीं अगर तक air bubbles हैं कि stone हैं, ठीक है? It's not very distant either. एक तो मेरे ख्याल में bubble लगता है मुझे जो बिल्कुल नीचे है। हाँ, हाँ। ठीक है? Okay, that's good. अब wire exchange करें। हाँ सॉरी सॉरी मुझसे इंटरव्यू में आए तो सॉरी मैं ये पार्ट अच्छा इसका तरह सा इसको थोड़ा सा ये बड़े वील को वो करें डाउन करें कि इसको वो आपको पहले पूरा नजर आए ठीक है ना क्योंकि जैसे सिंक इंटरव्यू में आए इस पे पहला ठीक है ना इट्स नॉट नॉर्मल क्यों है सीम एग्री ठीक है हाँ जी हाँ जी मारो भाई हाँ हाँ ठीक है ठीक है उधर ही पहुँचोगे तुम वो वो उधर पहुँचोगे ना तुम जरा सोर नाइफ को सोर अंदर कर ले मामूली सा अंदर कर ले एंड टेक इट इन ना बेट हाँ एंड और अब वो करें थोड़ा सा बस अब ये ठीक है इतना टच ठीक है इसका बस इतना काफी होगा बस 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 भाई जब आपको कहें कि ब्रेक तो अच्छा इसको देखें बाद में आपको रिव्यू करना पड़ता है ना कि कहाँ तक है परसे जब आप वो डिलीवर डेट डेट ठीक है ना क्या बहुत अच्छा खास है, ठीक है ना? हाँ, मतलब इसमें आगे जा सकते हैं बड़ा वो लीवेड, थोड़ा सा
है तो लेट मी चेक मैंने कुछ नहीं करना एक मिनट थोड़ा सा तो मैं जरा वसीम बो कर लो थोड़ा सा लेट मी रिफाइन हाँ थोड़ा सा कट लेते हैं ठीक है अब निकाल इसको ज्यादा वो एक्सचेंज कर लो अब इसमें आप पूरे जीप जा सकते हैं देखे अंदर है ना नजर आ रहा है ना ये पूरा ट्रक का ट्रक इसमें जा सकता है <laughs> अब ऐसी सिंक्रोटिन में आपके पास होते तो को कौन चाहता है दोबारा वायर क्या पूरा वो डाल दो स्कोप डाल दो इसमें <laughs> वरना अगर ये मैं ना करता तो इसी वायर ना छोड़ता आपको कभी भी ठीक है अब आपने इंस्ट्रक्शन सारे आपने देने हैं वसीम को ठीक है वो खुद कुछ नहीं करेगा <laughs> हाँ जी एविडेंस ऑफ प्रीवियस फिंग फ्रॉट मी ठीक है बाहर आ गया बलून आ गया आ गया आ गया, गया। बस काफी यार आओ कुछ नहीं है हाँ नहीं यार इसमें इसमें क्या करोगे <laughs> इसमें तो जो अगर हो भी तो आप खुद भी देख सकते हो